Great, today's typing demo is for a 60s Coronet Automatic. So this is an electric typewriter. There's no manual return. And yes, you have to plug it into a wall. Um, no chargers or batteries or anything like that. It has to have a wall outlet for it. So this is not considered a portable. Though it is a smaller uh, typewriter, so it you don't need as much of a desk space for this typewriter. And we've painted this a two-tone purple. Uh, the Coronet Automatic does not normally come in this color, but I am going to show you around this typewriter. So if you've never, I'm going to assume that you've never used a typewriter. So here it is, plug it into the wall. Right now it's off. This is your on-off switch right here. And I'm going to start from the back and work my way up. So this is going to be your paper holder. It's going to hold the paper and keep it from flopping over in the back. To set margins, you just press down these white tabs and then you just slide them to where you would like them to be. Um, set your paper guide first, which is right here. And the paper guide helps you load your paper in the exact same spot every time. So then your margins will be consistent if you have multiple pages. On the back side, you're going to see your carriage release lever, and it's on either side, and it does the same thing, and that just releases the carriage. You can hear the bell. The bell will ding when you get to your end of your margin. All right, so right here, you'll see a bunch of little tabs, and I will tell you what those are for. This right here is when you hit the return button, it's going to advance either one, two, or three lines. That's what this one will set. This is a paper release, so it releases, I don't know if you can see that, releases the tension on the paper once you load it so that if you need to adjust it, then you can do that. Um, and this, I'm actually not sure what that one is for. Now to open up the top to check out your ribbon, you just slide it forward, super easy. Here's your ribbon. It takes a universal ribbon. This one takes both black and red. So the black goes on the top, red goes on the bottom when it's time to switch it out. Super easy, you just lift them up and drop them in. Make sure that your ribbon is threaded through the guide wires. This one has four guide wires. Make sure they're threaded properly and you can look at the up close image on our Etsy shop to see how that goes in. Now, the ribbon is gonna go, um, so right, right now it's going this way. And when you get to the end of your spool, the typewriter is actually going to lock up on you. There's nothing wrong with a typewriter. You just need to reverse the direction of that spool. And you do that right here. And it says rib rev. That means ribbon reversal. So you switch that. And so now it goes this way. And these don't turn as easily as they do on the manuals because this is an electric typewriter. But you can see that it goes the opposite way now. So when you first get the typewriter, one, make sure that the ribbon hasn't come out of the guide wires and it's threaded properly. And two, just double check to make sure that um, your ribbon spool is maybe like in the middle and not at one end or the other because once you start typing, if it's at the end, if maybe the switch got to, um, flipped either during my typing demo, the packing or the shipping, you know, some people will go, it's not working. Well, you just need to flip the switch or they might think that it's an old ribbon. It's not, it's new. The switch got flipped, that's all. Okay, so right here, if you wanna set tabs, this is how you tab over and you set it right here. So I just set a tab. And so maybe I'll clear that one. And you can just clear your tabs. These all need to be cleared. And that's what that is for. Okay, let's go ahead and turn the typewriter on right here. And if you give it a second, you can hear the motor click in. To load your paper, you put it right here behind this metal bar and up against your paper guide and then turn the handle. All right, let's do a typing demo and see how well this works. Right now I have it on black. If you wanna switch it to red, you do it right here.
I like these electric typewriters. The Smith Coda Electrics are some of my favorite for beginners because they are so much. Uh, they're they're very similar to working on a computer, uh, a manual typewriter. There's a lot more effort into typing, whereas an electric typewriter, it's a little more similar to that of a computer. So great for young kiddos and for new newbies um, because I've had. Um, some young people try to type on a manual typewriter and they're afraid they're going to break it. You're not. It's just not what you're used to. This one is your margin release. So if you get to the end and the bell goes ding and you need a few more characters to hit your margin release. That's what that is for. Let's try out our red ribbon. Oh no, it's fine. And if you do make a mistake, then here's your backspace. And you just type over. There's no delete button, but backspace, type the way you want it. Also, there are three keys on an electric typewriter that have an auto repeat. That's going to be your dash, your X, and your period. Okay, so that can come in handy sometimes. Anyway, that's how this one works. This one's a little bit louder than most typewriters, um, but it's very cute. It's gonna look great either in a college dorm or your office or writing nook. Again, it's um, an excellent everyday typewriter and I highly recommend it for those who are new to typewriters because it's easy to use. Thanks so much for watching. Leave comments below and be sure to subscribe to our channel. Thank you.